Number 70. The following reactions can be used to prepare samples of metals. Determine the enthalpy change under standard state conditions for each. Okay, so whenever they say standard state conditions, this means from the tables. So even though they didn't tell you, technically you had to go back in the back of a textbook and get the delta H values for each uh, component here. Now I know that it's delta H because they said enthalpy. So I'm only looking for the delta H values because delta H is enthalpy, right? Heat. All right. So now if I want to find the enthalpy change for the whole reaction, and in this case I want it for 2Ag2O yields 4Ag plus O2, there's a formula. And it's this one right here. It's pretty easy. It looks, it looks a little bit intimidating, but it's not. The delta H for the whole reaction, Rxn is reaction, is just equal to the sum of all the delta H's of the products minus the sum of all the delta H's of the reactants. These little notch values just means that they are standard state, aka they're coming from the tables. So I just need to get one number for my reactants, one number for my products, and then I just plug it into the formula. How do we do that? Well, we're going to take those numbers and we're always going to multiply by how many we have in our balanced equation. I already see that there are coefficients, like there's a 2 and there's a 4. So that means that this reaction's balanced. So I don't have to worry about that. But remember, the reaction should always be balanced. And what you're going to do is you're going to take the coefficients and times them by the number that you got on your chart. So I times that one by 2. This one I would times by 4. And since there's no number for the O2, that means 1. So I times it by 1. Then you have to add them together. Literally, if we look at the products, it's Ag plus O2. There's a plus sign here. So I just have to add this. Since there's only one compound on my reactant side, I don't have to add it. But I do need to multiply it by 2. So let's see. The product side is just going to be 0, right? Because it's all zeros. And then this one I do 31.05 times 2. So I get negative 62.1. And I mean, for sig figs, actually, yeah, maybe for sig figs you would need the zero, but I don't, you know, who cares about sig figs, right? Let's just keep rocking and rolling. Now I'm ready to plug it into my formula. So the, the change in enthalpy, the delta H, how much heat energy is going to be produced, is the products, in this case it's zero, minus the reactants, which is a negative 62.1. And remember, if you minus by a negative, it's keep change change. So I technically add by a positive. So my delta H for the reaction would be 62.1. So it's an endothermic reaction. Just know that the units, if you're using the charts, are kilojoules per mole. And you're done. So you will absorb, because it's a positive number, 62.1 kilojoules per mole. There you go. Hopefully this helped. Thank you so much for viewing the video. Um, good luck on all your future tests and quizzes. And tell your friends, tell your classmates about this channel. Maybe it would benefit them as well. We also have physics and math videos at the moment on the channel. So go check it out. All right. Thank you so much, and I'll see you in later lessons. Bye-bye.